In this project, we will continue with the Gatekeeper's Lodge project, entering into the design development stage of the design process with the first level of the residential structure. The objective of this assignment is to begin organizing the AutoCAD file for the design development of the interior program. In this phase of the process, the exterior windows and doors have been located within the structure. These elements represent the design constraints within the overall project development. To start the assignment, download the .dwg AutoCAD file entitled Gatekeeper's Lodge Base Plan View First Floor. You will also need to download the document entitled Line Weight by Layer. Let's get started with the assignment in AutoCAD. It is an important first step to get into the practice of verifying the drawing information you've been provided. In other words, familiarize yourself to the project by investigating parts of the AutoCAD drawing. Here's what I recommend you do to begin the process of learning what is in front of you. Start by checking the units of the drawing. Make sure that the units meet the standards discussed earlier in this course. Next, import the Align Dimension style from the practice assignment on dimensioning. When you import the dimension style, this should also import the custom text style that was created when you formatted the dimension style. Set the imported dimension style as the current style. To do this, toggle on to the Annotate tab, locate the dimension panel, find the dimension style you created and named, set the imported text style as the current style. To do this, locate the text panel, set the imported text style current, find the text style you created and named. The best professional practices in AutoCAD recommend that object lines, references, symbols, and annotation be defined by layer. In other words, we do not typically assign properties outside of the layer definition to the objects. We do this so that we can quickly adjust or redefine how an object appears on the plotted sheet by changing the layer, instead of having to change dozens or even hundreds of object lines one at a time. For this reason, Let's make sure that everything in this file is defined by layer. To begin the task of assigning object lines to layers, we need to first make sure that everything in this file is defined by layer and that there are no property overrides in place. Here's a quick way to make sure everything is defined by layer using the change property command. At the command line type, change prop, return enter key. When prompted to select objects, type all, return enter key twice. From the square bracket of choices listed on the command line, identify the selection based on the capitalized letter. Choose or type layer, return enter key, then type zero, return enter key. Let's start with everything on layer zero, and then we will organize each object line by type. Let's choose another category to reset before exiting out of this command. Choose or type Z for color, return enter key, then type by layer. Return Enter key. Let's choose another category to reset before exiting out of this command. Choose or type LT for line type. Return Enter key. Then type by layer. Return Enter key. Let's choose another category to reset before exiting out of this command. Choose or type LW for line weight. Return Enter key. Then type by layer. Return Enter key. Let's choose one last category to reset before exiting out of this command. Choose or type. S for line type scale. Return enter key. Type 1.00. Return enter key. Pick on the return enter key to end the change property command. What have we done by utilizing the change property command? We have set all of the objects to be assigned special properties by layer, instead of choosing individualized property assignments to each object. By setting all the drawing properties by layer, we can now rapidly assign object properties defined by the layer definition. But first, we need to create more layers in this file. A demonstration of how to do that is the next part of this video. You will be creating the layers listed in the line weight by layer document. You will be creating new layers, assigning layer colors, layer line types, and layer line weights. Since you will be assigning line weights, determine if the file is set to line weights defined in inches, or line weights defined in millimeters. To do this, type at the command line, line weight or LW, return enter key. 
Highlight the radio button for inches and then pick OK. The next step is to deploy the block library. The block library will show you embedded assets, such as blocked objects, including title blocks, symbols, and other callouts that are included in the drawing definition, but are not yet placed within the drawing. At the command line, type insert, return enter key. The blocks panel will deploy on your screen. Locate and pick on the tab entitled current drawing. You will see four blocks embedded into this file, including callout note, column with pilaster, title bar, and a title block. Each of these embedded objects are assets in the drawing that have been provided to you for assistance in this project. We are now ready to create the AutoCAD document layers. Refer to the handout to name the layer, assign the layer color, line type, and line weight. At the command line type, layer, return enter key. Click on the New Layer button to get started creating layers. The first layer you will create is named E-Light. Pick on the white box adjacent to the layer name. This is the color definition for the E-Light layer. Make the layer color yellow, which is index number 2. Pick the OK button. The E-Light line type should be continuous. The E-Light line weight should be between 0 .007 and 0 .10. Let's take a hyperpause. To explain the use of the Master Format Layer Naming Convention, the National CAD Standard NCS Professional Affiliation, endorsed by the American Institute of Architects, have put forth guidelines for AutoCAD layer naming. The voluntary adherence to these standards helps ensure consistency among AutoCAD files. To comply with these guidelines, each layer is named using the following format. Start with a discipline code in the layer name. The discipline code designates the layer information for the building trade the information on that layer references. The discipline code for architectural elements is designated by the letter A. Interior design layers are typically designated by an I letter for the discipline code. Civil engineering information is designated by the letter C and landscape architecture information is designated by the letter L and so on. Following the discipline code, add a hyphen and then the major code denotation. The major code is the general category which describes the layer information. In this example, the major code is annotation which defines a broad category of information. Following the major code is another hyphen, followed by the minor code. The minor code relates to the major code listed and further defines the layer. In this case, the minor code is text. There are many minor codes that can be applied to an annotation type major code. For example, annotation layers can have minor codes such as text, dimensions, symbols, room identification, room numbers, signage, etc. Let's look at another example. This code defines exterior walls. Changing the minor code to INT denotes interior wall partitions. Changing the minor code to demo changes the meaning of the layer to the definition of a demolition wall layer. It is also acceptable to combine discipline codes for related occupational fields, such as architecture and interior design. The discipline code for an interior elevation could be the following, AI-ELEV. Keep in mind that in plan view, the major code for layers is sometimes designated by the acronym FLOR, followed by a minor code, where floor refers to floor plan view. All objects in plan view are defined by their reference definition. However, elevation layers are defined by the line weight, not object type. So, for elevation layers, you will be defining the minor codes as fine, light, medium, heavy, and any combination of these such as fine ultra, light, or medium heavy. The line weights for elevations are created in this assignment and will be explained when you are working on the interior elevation drawings for the kitchen project. Continue to create layers in the AutoCAD property manager. Let's look at one more example of a continuous line type before moving on to specialty line types. The next new layer is Prefix. The index color is Cyan or number 4. The line type remains continuous. And the line weight range is between 0 0.005 inches and 0 0.007 inches. Why is there a range instead of a definitive value for line weights? 
The answer is that drawings may be plotted at small to large size scales. The larger the scale, the thicker the line weight definition will need to be defined. For small scale drawing definitions, the line weights must be thinner to ensure accurate visibility. Continue to create layers from the list provided. The next segment of this video speeds up until we reach a change in line type definition. At that point, the video will resume normal speed for you to follow along loading line types from the AutoCAD line type bank. Now let's look at how to load specialty line types and the correct line types from the bank of AutoCAD line type definitions. The example that I will demonstrate is for the I object below layer. This layer designation defines objects that have a hidden line type. Create the new layer. The layer color is index color number 12. Pick on the current line type definition, which is continuous. As soon as you pick on the word continuous, the line type dialog box pops up. Locate and pick on the button entitled Load. Scroll past all of the ISO or engineering line types. We need to locate the architecture and interior design scaled line types in the list. Locate and pick on the hidden two line type. There are at least three different hidden line types to choose from in this category. The differences among these types is the line type scale. The scale, or the visual repeat of the broken lines, accurately matches common architectural and interior design drawing scales. Select the hidden two line type and then pick on the OK button. This takes you back to the part of the dialog box for assigning the line type to the layer. At this point, you've only loaded the line type into the drawing from the AutoCAD line type bank of options. Highlight the hidden two line type and pick the OK button. Define the line weight between 0.008 inches and 0.010 inches for this layer. Let's look at one more example and load an additional line type from the AutoCAD line type bank. Create a new layer entitled I object above layer. This layer designation will be for objects that exist above the four foot cutting plane in the plan view of a drawing. The color definition for this layer is index color number 12. To change the line type of this layer, pick on the hidden two line type. Why does AutoCAD automatically define the new layer as hidden two? AutoCAD defaults to the last assignment created and automatically assigns color, line type, and line weight to the definition to save time. Define the line weight between 0.010 inches and 0.014 inches for this layer. Continue creating layers until you have reached the end of the list. Once all of the layers have been created, place all object lines on the correct layers. The final base plan drawing will now appear similar to the one in this example. You have now met the objectives for this assignment by demonstrating the following concepts. Always verify the information in a file you have been provided. This includes checking the units, the line weight settings, and the embedded block assets. Also covered in this lecture is the change property command, which resets all of the object lines to a bi-layer definition and defines the global line type scale as 1.00. Finally, the lesson demonstrated creating layers followed the master layer format guidelines, utilizing discipline, major and minor codes for organizing information by layer. Each of the objects in the DWG file have been organized onto the correct layer definition. You are ready to begin the drafting process of the design development of the Gatekeeper's Lodge for the first floor level.